Papua New Guinea's Governor General swore in the team of former Prime Minister Sir Michael Samari. The document signed, photos taken. It looks binding, but MPs in the Parliament wanted the Governor General Sir Michael Ogio to swear in someone else, the man they believe should be Prime Minister, Peter O'Neill. He wouldn't, so Parliament suspended the Governor General. Sir Michael Samari was recuperating from a heart problem in Singapore when MPs ousted him in August. But the Supreme Court ruled the appointment of Mr O'Neill is unconstitutional, a decision most MPs were quick to reject. This kind of madness must stop. This kind of madness must stop. This parliament, this parliament, this parliament must stand up to this kind of tyranny. The country now has two prime ministers, two cabinets, two police chiefs, no opposition and a suspended governor general. Unions are furious, threatening to close the country down with a general strike. As it stands, while these two groups are fighting against each other, nobody is there to sign off on documents. There's no ministers to sign off on documents. No cash flow is moving. It's not clear whether Sir Michael Samari intends another court challenge. Our Supreme Court is the mandated authority, as in many other democracies, to interpret the laws of the land and the constitution and we are all duty bound to observe the pronouncements of the Supreme Court. Mr O'Neill's backers say they'll return to Parliament and sit in the government benches.